office is, well, it's not almost done. Well, it kind of is almost done. I mean, we still have lots of organizing to do, but oh, it feels so good. I'm gonna show you guys a quick little tour, okay? Look at the flowers up there, cute. Da -da -da. And then a humongous mess. <laughs> So I'm just getting ready to film. I'm doing a Christmas or I guess not like kind of holiday hair tutorial type of thing. I mean, it's so funny because like I always do like theme hair tutorials like back to school or summer or Christmas or whatever. But like any hairstyle that I ever do, you could wear for anything. Like you could go to my summer hair tutorials and wear those hair tutorials for like Christmas. You know what I mean? It's just the thing that YouTubers do is it's like optimization. You know, everybody's searching Christmas right now. Everyone is searching back to school in September. So it's like you have to name your videos what people are going to search for. And so um, just so you guys know for the future, you can wear any hair tutorial that I ever do like any time of the year. It's just for search engine optimization. Um, but I'm actually working on a really fun thing for my channel for like the um, main video. You know, like if you click on the main channel page, you can see like the main video. And I'm trying to figure out a song to put with it. I want it to be, like, silly and funny. Um, so let me know what you guys think, okay? All right, guys, so this is what I'm working on. It's There's a lot I have to, like, do on it. I want to add way more clips and then, like, make the editing better. But this is kind of, like, the rough, like, a rough beginning, I guess I should say. <laughs> and I want to stop and get snacks. <laughs> Make it rain! <laughs> Sleeping with it. <laughs> oh, team! Oh, team! Yay! So that's kind of like roughly what it is. It's kind of like I don't want it to be like a um, super amazing video. I want it to be kind of just like the best clips of my vlogs, but it's going to take a lot of time to like go through every vlog and like find the good clips and stuff because I don't remember what clips are in which vlogs, you know? So, um, yeah, so I just got this set up. Uh, Hopefully the lighting's okay. Like, I've never done a video right here before, so I have no idea if it's going to work out or not. Um, but yeah, I need to get started because I am slacking and I'm procrastinating and uh, I'm just like a horrible procrastinator. I swear, I could spend all day, like, wasting time. Like, I'm one of those people that just, like, finds joy in the randomest things and, like, I could just not do anything all day and just be totally happy doing it. You know what I mean? But, um, yeah, so I need to go. Bye. So me and Travis are headed to date night because my mom is keeping buggy overnight and I'm gonna get some things done in the morning that I meant to do today but I was literally editing, editing, editing and filming all day. Like I was just focused, focused, focused. So I didn't get to really like do any of the chores I was planning on doing. So yeah, were you decided on Thai food? Thai food, yes. Uh, it's a new place we haven't been before and I haven't had Thai food in a while, so this should be pretty good. So I'm excited. Yeah! Um, house is coming along good, right? Yep. So Slowly but surely. Yeah, we're getting our stuff together, huh? Yep. So... And Travis promised me he's gonna hang the curtains up for me tonight. Yep. After the blazer game. Yep. I'm really looking forward to Christmas this year though. More so than I think any other year by far. And guess what? We're finding out the gender on the 17th. Yeah, that's really exciting too. So that's like a little pre-Christmas present yeah, for us. Yeah, I'm so excited. And I'm I'm actually nervouser this time. Nervouser? More nervous this time than I was with Buggy to find out the sex. And I don't know why, I'm just nervous. Like, I think there's it, so well, many like different, like. It's like your last dollar and you're gambling. Yeah, That's well... That's why it's exciting, because before, the first kid, it doesn't matter, because you still know you're having another one. Yeah. So you've got two chances. In your mind, because, you know, Karen and I are still debating on if we were going to have a third, 
this could be your last shot. So that's why you're more nervous. And it's like my last time ever finding out. I don't really care what it is. I think it's just the anticipation of like, you don't, like this is a really exciting time to like find out the sex of your baby and we may never do this again. Yeah. You never know. So I just want to say I had an uh, amazing night with Buggy last night. She, she was, was having sweetie. trouble sleeping, so I went in her bedroom and she just didn't want daddy to leave, so Buggy and I slept in her bed. And it was, it's just like those type of moments are the ones that make everything totally worth it, especially yeah. as a dad. Yeah. I and mean, she snuggles. She's such a good snuggle. She likes me to tickle her back, so last night she's like, tickle my back, dead. <laughs> it was just awesome. I know. I'm going to miss these times. I need to take advantage and like, yeah. just go in there and sleep with her all night. That's what I said. Last night we should have just brought her into our bed. I know. I mean, we should have. Who cares about the rules? Sometimes, you know, you just live life and enjoy it. And yeah. You don't care about stuff like that. But anyway, I had an awesome night. It was really good. She's and I remember, so you know what's funny? I had a, a flashback when we were in the hospital and you were in the bed because you couldn't get out because of the epidural in your back. Mm -hmm. And remember they, every night they'd put Buggy on my chest to keep her temperature up? Oh yeah. With my shirt off. So I'd just lay there with Buggy on my chest. Forever. For a full week because Buggy, if you guys don't know, she had a problem regulating her temperature. Yeah. Um, so they thought that maybe my body heat would help like her kind of figure it out or something. So. And just keep her warm because she was get, just getting so cold. Yeah, yeah, but uh, so that reminded me of that. It's just, it was funny. It's amazing. Remember, we're gonna have another one, and it's gonna go by super fast. So that's a little Thai food place. Hello. Don't slip. I'm like so scared I'm gonna slip and, and fall hurt the and baby. Hurt the baby. <laughs> well, I'll hold my hand, cause you know I won't fall. So slippery. Jeez. So. I didn't tell you this, but I booked the place out for just us. You did? Yeah, that's why it's... You rented it out? I rented it out. It's, that's why. It's like this. For you. sure. Yeah. You're so sweet. I know. You're so thoughtful. <laughs> <laughs> look, and I had those flowers delivered. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. I just hear you. Oh, thank you. I wonder if they have something like um, Typhoon did, remember? The pineapple curry. I feel like we have to talk quiet because we're like... But there's no one in here. <laughs> I know, that's why. <laughs> Do you like my lipstick color? I always like big red lips like that. These are pink. Excuse me. Get it right. Whatever. <laughs> are they pink? Mm -hmm. I like fuchsia. Oh, it's like maroon. It's cadmium. Oh no, that's cadmium yellow. Like what was cadmium yellow. Yeah, <laughs> from Underground Vandal's history. Oh yeah. My Isn't it Bob Ross and yeah. it's cadmium. Um, and he's like super like My soft clothes are voice. smooth like cadmium yellow. Yeah. <laughs> <And it's> like... <laughs> that is the best one. So I've got my art table and everything set up. Right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of you guys have been asking about my channel, my drawing channel, because I haven't put a video up in like six months. But we've been buying houses. I've been super ultra busy. Putting furniture together. Yeah. It's so funny how YouTube works. Like I was showing you that video that's just kind of picking up and getting lots of views is my How I Learned to Draw video. So I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, it's just interesting. It makes me realize, you know, what people are into as far as art goes. Mm -hmm. You know, I was talking to Dan, the guy I work with today. He's a 3D animator. And, um, we were just saying how, you know, in YouTube, you don't have to be the best artist. It's about being able to, for people to relate to you, mm -hmm. you know, which is, it makes so much sense. I think because, that's totally true. Yeah, well, people need to be able to relate to you. So even if you're not the best artist, like as long as you show people that, you know, this is where I'm at, this is my style of art, this is how you can learn from me and, and you're personable and people will like to watch it. So. Mm -hmm. um, but my new videos are gonna be, uh, I plan on doing a series of tips for drawing videos, and so I think my first video will be on tips for drawing noses. And so I plan on doing like five different styles of noses, like a really complex one that's more natural, that maybe a more um, advanced artist can use, but then also really simple noses that are, you know, really easy to, you know, make a pretty face out of, mm -hmm. you know, like especially for girl faces, like less is more. Mm -hmm. So noses like that, so I think that'll be a really cool video. Um, but it should be able to help 
a lot of the people who watch my videos. So I'm really excited though. I've just yeah. I've been putting it off doing my channel because I just want it to be perfect. I know, is, Travis is a perfectionist. I am, and it, I want everything to be set and ready to go. I want to have a perfect camera set up so that I can sit down and do really good videos. I really want you to do some art videos. My art's like not even as good as yours though. Again, it's not about how good you are, it's about what people can learn from you. I feel more confident in my makeup hair skills than I do in my art skills, and I feel like I wouldn't be able to take criticism as well on my art videos. Yeah, true. So there's the crab puffs. Those look good. I love crab puffs. They're like one of my favorite things. Kara wanted these. I actually prefer the uh, salad. salad rolls. But well, I usually get salad rolls, not, but because I'm pregnant, I'm like, whatever, I can have fried Yeah, meat. I'm not going <laughs> to argue with a pregnant lady over food. I might, <laughs> I might end up in the street. So this is um, coconut. Or is it coconut milk? Coconut milk and soup. Coconut milk soup, which I ordered, and it's really good because I've had it before. It's spicy, it's good. Yeah. It tastes really good, especially like this time of year when it's cold. Mm-hmm. And you're cra craving mm -hmm. spicy foods. Yeah, I don't know why.